move over semaglutide and tirzepatide, enter retra to diet, the latest and most promising contender to emerge in the realm of weight loss drugs. According to phase 2 clinical trial data by pharmaceutical company L.A. Lilly and company released this week, obese patients taking the drug lost up to 24% of their body weight in 48 weeks, equivalent to an average of about 26.3 kgs. Hello and welcome to The Print. I am Sumi Sukanya Datta and in today's broadcast, I am going to talk about the new weight loss drug, Retatrutide, that has created waves with the stunning trial results. The findings of the trial, which involved 338 participants, were published in the New England Journal of Medicine. A separate paper in the Lancet also published earlier this week analyzed the drug's effect on people with both obesity and diabetes and found clinically meaningful improvements in glycemic control and robust reductions in body weight. Both papers were presented this week at the American Diabetes Association scientific sessions in San Diego garnering an enthusiastic reception from physicians and diabetologists, including those from India. Senior endocrinologist Dr. Ambrish Mithal, who was there at the session, said, told us that it's an amazing data, something that no drug had shown before and was unthinkable a few years ago. Dr. Anoop Mishra of Fortis Hospital also said that while these are early stage trials, this kind of weight loss has not been seen with any drugs previously. So how does retatrutide work? Retatrutide works in a manner that is similar to its predecessors semaglutide and tirzepatide. It is administered as a weekly injection and brings about a shift in patients eating habits by Im imitating specific gut hormones. Thus far, two other drugs that work on gut, form, gut hormones have been hogging the limelight globally for their weight loss effects. The first is semaglutide, developed by Danish drug maker Novo Nordisk and sold under the brand name of Ozempic, Vegovi and Ribelsis. The second is Eli Lilly's Tirzepatide, approved for medical use last year in some countries and sold under the brand name Monjaro. Various formulations of these drugs, mostly in the form of weekly injectables, have been indicated and approved for treating type 2 diabetes, but have also shown promising results in tackling obesity. Eli Lilly has sought approval by the US Food and Drug Administrator or US FDA to introduce Manjaro exclusively as a weight loss drug, thus targeting people without diabetes too. An oral version of semaglutide under the brand name Ribelsis is also available in India in 3mg, 7mg and 14mg formulations. In India, this drug has been indicated for treating only type 2 diabetes by the Central Standard Drugs Standard Control Organizations. Experts told us that medications like semaglutide, tirzepatide, and retatrutide work by binding to receptors of various gut hormones. These receptors regulate secretion of pancreatic hormones such as well as gut function and their malfunctioning aggravates type 2 diabetes and obesity. These drugs have the effect of creating a feeling of fullness for longer and thus reduce appetite. But what sets retatrutide apart from other drugs in its class? So while semaglutide targets a receptor called glucagon-like peptide 1 or GLP-1, tirzepatide works on both GLP-1 and gastric inhibitory polypeptide or GIP. Retratutide on the other hand works on three receptors. The first to come along was semaglutide, which mostly targeted GLP-1 receptors and caused weight loss of nearly 15%. Then tirzepatide, which could cause up to 22.5% weight loss arrived on the scene. Now findings about retatutide comes as a huge advancement because it's a triple receptor agonist that targets glucagon, GLP-1 and GIP. According to physicians and researchers, it is fantastic as it has shown weight loss reduction in the range of 24 to 25%. According to phase 2 clinical data published in the New England Journal of Medicine, 338 adults who were obese or overweight participated in the study. The volunteers were randomized to receive a placebo or one of the four doses of retatutide. The drug was given as a weekly injection. After 24 weeks, participants taking the highest dose, 12 mg, lost on average 17.5% of their body weight. By 48 weeks, the weight loss increased to 
percent of the, their body weight. But while drugs like semaglutide, tirzepatide and now ritatutide have shown promising outcomes, doctors also caution that they may come with some side effects. Such drugs also do not come cheap. For instance, even a blister pack of Rebelsus tablets in India costs a few thousand rupees and doctors claim that some patients obtain these injectables also from abroad. Almost all these drugs are expensive injections and have helped wealthy obese patients with diabetes in India lose weight and attain better control of blood sugar. Also, side effects are common, especially nausea, vomiting, indigestion, diarrhea, gas and bloating. There is another flip side. When the injections are stopped, patients tend to gain weight back, especially if their food intake returns to previous levels. Doctors also caution that another concern could be some degree of muscle loss, risk of falling and fractures and how that might impact mobility in the long term. That's all in this broadcast. Thank you for watching the video.